welcome back and today guys in this video I'm gonna share with you how to make intro fast on YouTube of course People have been asking on my channel how to make a uh, intro So that's why I'm sharing today how to make a quick intro on your channel now I'm gonna jump to the computer screen so you can see it. Guys, by the way, this is gonna be a completely new intro, meaning I'm gonna start from scratch. And I'm not using any intro apps, I'm literally gonna start from scratch and make this intro on my own from Final Cut Pro. First, let's open a new project, I'm gonna call it intro. I usually start it from the text, if you have any other idea, then you could start from that, but I'm just gonna go to the text. I'm going to actually get the basic title, but I'm going to make it 3D. And obviously, I'm going to make it my channel name. And also, we're going to make a new font because this one's too small and it, we don't want the basic font. See, like this. Then we click 3D. All the way on the right, it says material. It, you see it says single. That means that every single side of a letter is the same material and it's only white. But if you click multiple, then every single wall or border or back of the letter is going to be different. You see, this is just basic material in the front, but how about we just make it some other material, like metal. That would be cool. To make it funny or actually like stand out, then you could choose aluminum foil, that's what we chose. And for front edge, then we can change it. Let's change it, try to car paint. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Then obviously change the face opacity. And also you could change the brightness. You might want to just change it to 100%, but it still looks good when it's the beginning. And also you could change the car paint, so you could do any single color. If you want it to be more 3D, then adjust the depth. Okay, you can adjust the side color as well, so we're just gonna change it. So let's say we like it like that, the front, edge, side, and they're all uh, different colors. And also, quick tip, don't make your intros too long, the 10 seconds the most. But if you have like an intro that's 30 seconds, then they're just gonna click off your video. And also, if you want just the text to appear, like from zero opacity to full opacity, then you could do that too. Put it to zero opacity, click the keyframe. Somewhere after two seconds, then you want to increase the opacity, the opacity to full. And then click next keyframe. Now we have the text ready, let's put some other effects. I have this cool effect called shockwave. I'm gonna add it. And also, if you want other cool colors on your shockwave, then you're gonna have to need three layers, and I'm gonna show you how sick this is, guys. So first layer, adjust the size of the sh shockwave. You make the shockwave pretty big. If you wanna change the color, then go all the way to the right, and then go to effects, and it'll say color. And then click colorize. And obviously, you can adjust the color. Now simply click Command C, copy it, and then you can paste it on the side, but then you can copy it on top for a second. Then Command V, and do it again. Command V so you have another one. And then obviously put them on top of each other. Okay, now we have the red one, now we have the biggest one, and then go to the second layer and make it a bit smaller. Yeah, I couldn't see the frame, so I adjusted it to 50%, and now I can see the frame, guys. Now I'm gonna adjust the color, and obviously the same for the third one, and I forgot to say something, on the right it says blend mode, you always wanna change it to screen so it can, you can see the other layers. You see, there you go. When I play it now, this is what it looks like. And then you can copy the text, and then obviously you can put what's on your channel. So I'm gonna put tutorials in gaming, for example. Just quickly, the comment of the day and shout out goes to Alan McGlingit Vlog. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, but this person says, how to be you. My suggestion is be yourself because if you're not being yourself on YouTube, then you're not gonna grow. I like this subsonic kind of sound. So obviously take it from the menu and put it uh, under all the layers. And also the small text, we don't want it to appear the same way, so we're gonna click Opacity. Now the channel title already appeared, and now that's where this other title will come. And also you can add a little bit of effect, 
in my actual intro I add fire, so I'm gonna add fire. Now that the other sound is ending, then we're gonna add some f the fire. And this is how we do it. Crop it all the way so you don't see, see the flame. Then click add frame here. And then click uh, add keyframe. Now we go a little bit farther and then we basically uncrop everything. And there you go, add a new keyframe. And even to make it better, we're gonna just add some other sound effect. And then we're gonna add a sound effect. Let's say this one. Basically, you wanna match it where the fire is coming first. You see, it kinda matches because then the fire starts and also the um, yeah, fire sound effect is gonna kick in. Obviously, the sound is longer than the intro, so cut it that part. Now I'm gonna show you how it actually sounds. And obviously, if you want to make it, the text move, then this is how you do it. So basically, if you want the text to be like popping out to you, coming closer to you, then this is how you do it. So mark the text clip, then make it small first, for example. Then you click add a keyframe and next keyframe. And then make it a little bit bigger. You see, now it's cool and animated. And same thing for spinning the text around. Add a keyframe, next keyframe, move the timeline, and then you spin it. Okay, next keyframe. Okay, move the timeline. And then let's say you want to spin it back. This actually looks cool, right? Even when you play it. Guys, did you like the way that intro looks? Obviously, there is a lot of ways you could do your intros, but this is how I do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!